probably a much higher rate. But even, you know, if you take that number at its word, one out of like 650 girls, one out of 660, when you're when you're saving one out of 1,200, I mean, it, it's ridiculous. We'll be back after this. It's the Info Warrior. There were several cases of paralysis. One had Bell's palsy, which paralyzes the face. One had hemophorus, which paralyzes or, or, or severely weakens half the body. Can you imagine half your body is paralyzed? What a nightmare. A serious nightmare. Two experienced hypoasthesia, uh, in which the sufferer loses much of the sense of touch. And one had uh, Julian Barr syndrome, which paralyzes the legs. How about count me out for all that? What if it was just my face? Then I couldn't spew my Johnny nonsense on the air and have a radio career. If I didn't have the legs, how would I be able to walk out of here? I'd be a very bitter guy without my legs. I'll tell you that right now. Or half of my body paralyzed. So go ahead. Take the HPV vaccine. All's great. Give it to your kids. You know, they only have their whole lives ahead of them if you don't give it to them. All right. Let's go to uh, Steve in New York. Steve, you're on the line, sir. Hey, Jason. How's it going? All right, man. What's up? Uh, I was calling in, actually, uh, to talk about the uh, city year. Uh, I was going to tell you you're, uh, you weren't, you know, you're, you're basically not telling the truth about it. And then I went to the website because I ended up helping out uh, a couple years ago. City year build a, uh, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, a, um, a home? A rec center? No, yeah. We, no, it, yeah, it was a rec center. We were, we okay. were, uh, yeah. Yeah. And I uh, went to the website, and then you realize it's it's uh, it's or, like it's it's totally federal. It's 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 centrally organized. Yeah, no, very... they changed it, dude. Listen, yeah. AmeriCorps is the one that got all the funding through the Give Act. Okay, yeah. right now through AmeriCorps, they're building up this. Now, I'm sure City Year initially is a good program. They make it out to look like it's a good program. All right, they they listen. I'm all for helping inner city youth. I'm all for yeah. volunteering time. But when they make it about a uniform. They have a mass movement. They're making it a holiday on 9-11 for national civil service. And City Year is going to be their main AmeriCorps group. This is indoctrinating the youth. This is training them to have this identity for one worldism. Okay? You, you listen to the girl. The girl talks about it. She's shedding her individual skin and she's adopting her, her universal skin for a one world better world. And right. the, pro the problem is they're going to get these guys in and it's going to start out really good soup kitchens. They're going to clean up neighborhoods. Rec centers are great. You know, I, I, hey, there's nothing wrong with teenage kids playing basketball, like basketball and, pool. and pool. Yeah, that's good stuff. You know what I mean? But then it's going to change. It's going to turn into this UK style snooping society where they're pledging with the police officers and they're reporting on terror and they're integrated with side programs, much like the Boy, Boy Scouts is being with the Explorers program. You know, if people want to give a year of service, you know, you can do that in your in your individual person personal life. You can become a big brother, big sister program. You know, you can do that right. sort of thing. And they're just hijacking it, man. I'm just letting you know you're going to see this is going to be the next. You're going to see these people on the streets. It's not going to be like in a localized community and you see one or two people with the jackets on and you can point to them and say, hey, you know, he's really helping my kid out or my nephew or my niece. And, you know, I hope that they're part of that program. No, it's going to be a lot of people. They're trying to make this the main identity of the youth. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, I basically wanted to say that. And then uh, I wanted to uh, uh, tell everybody, I, I was reading this book. It's, a, it's an online book. You can find it uh, online. Uh, and uh, it's called uh, um, The Art of Mimetics. It's written by a guy named Wes Unruh. And uh, basically it's a thick text. It's not, it's not a long book, but it's pretty thick. Like you have to basically research a lot of the stuff that they talk about. But it, it talks about... Uh, and the reason why I bring this up is because uh, the, the way Alex, like, I, I, I've been a big fan of Alex Jones and what you guys have been doing for, for a long time. I've uh, delivered some DVDs of Endgame all over my apartment building. Like, everybody's Excellent. gotten one. Killer. Um, yeah, great movie, by the way. Uh, and uh, in this particular case, it sort of talks about uh, 
how certain people see certain things due to the way they are sort of like enveloped by the idea. It sees ideas. Presentation as- is everything. It's Bernays. You know, it's just like you see the, all right, for instance, the one guy's sitting there and he's like, especially if you're someone of color, you know, they, they mention it. You know, they're, they're shooting you this young, hip youth, this now, you know, idea. And again, they're, they're really playing off like the popularity of these dance movies. You know, they're playing the drums in the one and people are dancing and it's kind of like step it up. Yes, they're trying to appeal to what, what pop culture has taught people what is cool. You know what I mean? And, and they're well, playing I, off it, that. The- the the way the way the the book sort of like uh, places it is uh, or like 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 uh, formalizes it is that the idea itself is personified. So uh, the it's it's about how the the uh, evolution of this particular idea goes from from one group to another and how it expands from you know the the, the niche group to 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 basically the the, the whole population. Well, let me give you an, let me give you an example. Uh, yeah. um, you know, Bernays talked about how he was able to get women to smoke because it was very taboo. And he made sure that there was this big media event. It was, I think it was at a, uh, he talks about it being at a big parade. And they hired a bunch of women to go down and smoke. And then they had the media go report on it. Oh, look how chic they are. And literally, they, they were able to double their, their, their smoking audience because they got women to smoke in less than a year. And Bernays is just right. sitting there gloating how proud he was of it. Go ahead. Right, right, right. Right, and he was hooked up with, uh, you know, his brother was, uh, or his, yeah, his brother was uh, Freud, and mm-hmm. and like was able to sell his book here in the in the states and create a, I guess, a new form of a religion. Uh, yeah, uh, what do you think of Adam Curtis and his movies? Have you seen uh, his? Which what, what's he done? Uh, he's a British uh, director. He does a couple movies for the BBC, but they're they're. Um, he, there's one called The Power of Nightmares, which specifically. Oh, I've talks seen The Power Bernays. of Nightmares. No, I've seen yeah. The Power of Nightmares. It's a three part series. It's actually rather yeah. excellent. It really breaks down where Al Qaeda comes from, what the term is, the Muslim Brotherhood, oh, actually, the funding. You know what? Yeah. Power of Nightmares, I don't think was uh, the right one. It was called uh, The Power of something. Hold on a second. Let me get the, the names. But anyway, he, he recently came out with a most uh, uh, recent film um, about uh, the economy. Or specifically, um, uh, what happened after World War II, uh, what happened in Germany after World War II, and how uh, England uh, picked up on a lot of the same sort of um, uh, memes, I guess, a lot of the same uh, patterns. Uh, when Thatcher came in, she started uh, uh, trying to rule the country in, the, in a very similar way to the way Hitler uh, ruled the country, and how uh, the economic crisis was... Like everything that, that's happening now, we seem to be like like playing the same story all over again. Yeah, repeating history as they destabilize yeah. certain parts of the world to create other uh, amalgamated forces. In other words, trying to amalgamate Canada into the United States, into Mexico, into this North American Union. They have to gut our economies out first. I thank you for the call, my man. Let's go to uh, Anti-Federalist in Georgia. Anti-Federalist, you're on the line. Hey, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Georgia. There seems to be a lot of people that call in, man. So I'm glad to know there's a lot of people awake out here. Cool. And also, I wanted to get specific real quick about the experiments people were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. The first one is the Zimbardo prison study. And Mm -hmm. there's plenty of information about that on the web. And also, the second one is the Stanley Milgram shock experiment. Okay. And um, on Pirate Bay, Mini Nova, or any of those torrent type places, you can find the actual video footage of that so i encourage people to go and watch that and what and what would i do to get that because that is something i'm interested in what what would i have to uh uh, google stanley milgram shock experiment actually you can just go to pirate bay or mini nova Mm -hmm. and you should be able to find the torrent for it um or i can just uh, actually have a copy of it if you want if you can't find it well if you you want to you go to my myspace.com slash jason burmis or the info warrior show and just send me the link to the torrent, and I'll definitely pick it up and check it out. Because I, I, I've watched the Stanford experiment, uh, experiment one uh, years and years and years ago, and it was very, very, very informative and just surprising. But it really shows you how the human psyche can be you know, crushed and reshaped in this really ugly image of man with little to no effort. You know, It doesn't take much for us to get into that mindset where we can abuse other people or we think we're above other people or we're in this group mentality. It's kind of scary. Absolutely, you know, and uh, and as well, it was actually the the prison study had to be ended early. I think they were going to go somewhere around on the order of two weeks, and they ended it, or I think five to seven days into it, just because of the stress that it was causing to people, like you said. 
Yeah, it was getting really intense. I mean, they were really doing. 